The Hanser 2.0 beta for Final Cut Pro is now available. Discover the latest updates and features. New film damage tool, new tool profile with settings for 8, 16, 35 and 65 mm, maximum film grain size increased, multiple bugs fixes and performance improvements. I'm Ruben and I love it when things work well. You may be aware that Dehancer is a top-notch film emulation software available. Its benefits are not only limited to its user-friendly interface and time-saving capabilities on DaVinci Resolve or other editors, but it also allows filmmakers to showcase their creativity with a plethora of tools based on 30 years of film shooting and darkroom experience, alongside a scientific approach to color science and image processing. Two vital pieces of information require your immediate attention. You should be aware of two important updates on the Hanser, and I will explain why you should take action on the Hanser as soon as possible. Please stay tuned until the end of the video. The first update is on film damage. But what is film damage? Well, when shooting on film and then processing, storing, duplicating, and displaying it, all sorts of defects, dust, hair, scratches, stains, emulsion irregularities, and more extensive damage inevitably appear in the image. A small amount of natural artifacts can be found even on a fresh, properly processed film. Defects increase at every stage of film production. Normally, the most noticeable artifacts are removed during post-production stage. But it's impossible and unnecessarily to eliminate them completely. Natural dirt enhances the impression and introduces a sense of time. Therefore, when working with digital sources like we do, such artifacts are often added artificially as part of stylization. Hey, if you like what you've seen so far, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and help me to keep making videos like this. Thank you so much. In the Hanser film damage consists of several modules, each responsible for a different type of artifacts. For example, dust. Dust on film always exists, but it may look different at different production stages and with different photographic materials. Here you can adjust the settings as you like. This is where the total number of dust particles can be present simultaneously within the frame. The parameter sets the scale of dust, for example the single coefficient of magnification for all particles. In real life, this parameter is determined by the film format because it determines the size of artifacts relative to the physical area of the frame. On Super 8 film, all defects look much larger than on 35mm, while on 65mm film, the dust might be very small relative to the frame size and almost unnoticeable. The physical size of the particles varies over a wide range, and both very small and large dust specks may appear in the same frame. The size balance slider adjusts the ratio between the artifacts of different sizes. At the minimum value, only the smallest particles are added. At the maximum, the largest ones, and in the middle position, about the same amount of dust or different sizes. Particles that deposit on the negative emulsion during the shooting process leave unexposed areas underneath, light on the negative and dark after it is reversed by optical printing or scanning. Dust on the positive material also shows up as dark artifacts. At the positive printing stage, the particles also get on the film and cover areas of the emulsion from the exposure to light. After processing, such dust appears white. A similar effect is observed when scanning the negative directly with digital reversal. Thus, a positive image always contains both light and dark artifacts in a proportion that depends on the shooting conditions, the number of intermediate stages, and the accuracy of film processing. The black-white parameter adjusts the quantitative ratio between light and dark artifacts. 
If you move it all the way to the left, only light particles will appear. And all the way to the right, the dark ones. And in the middle position, both light and dark particles will appear equally. But there are other artifacts, such as hair, scratches, and everyone has their own settings and customizable tools, like the ones we just saw. The other update is on the Dehancer tool profile. Starting with version 7, Dehancer for DaVinci Resolve offers tool profiles, which are set of pre-configured parameters to simulate different film formats. This feature will eventually appear in all Dehancer products, including the iOS app. Configuring Dehancer using predefined film-specific effects profiles is not only faster and easier, but also more accurate. However, it is crucial to understand that Dehancer profiles are not considered an absolute standard. In real life, the same film can look different based on several factors, including emulsion type, film generation, optics used, shooting technique, uh, development process, printing, counter typing, scanning, positive display conditions, etc. The tool profiles accurately replicate the distinct visual style of 8, 16, 35, and 65 millimeter films. These profiles were based on the emulsion technology used during the golden age of cinema, which produced that iconic look of many famous movies. While modern films have better technical quality, they lack those unique effects. As a result, Dehancer's profile may seem slightly exaggerated, but you can easily customize them to your preference by selecting any of the profiles and switching to custom mode. Dehancer has created grain profiles for A1635 and 65mm, each in three versions, ISO 50, 250 and 500. There is no need for separate profiles for intermediate ISO values, for example, 200 ISO, as the difference in grain character between them is insignificant. To modify profile settings, you need to choose the appropriate profile and then switch to custom mode. This will grant you access to all the normal FX settings with the parameter values matching the last profile selected. The Hanser Pro 2.0 Beta is installed and activated as a separate, fully independent plugin. So, your projects, which use previous versions of the Hanser, won't be affected. Now, this is very important. Don't miss out on saving some money. Buy the Hanser Pro now for $399 before the price jumps to $449 on September 15th. I'll tell you more. Save even more. Download the Dehancer and get 10% off your purchase by entering the promo code TOPICRUBEN on your checkout. You're welcome. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace and love.